can you can uh, you hear me hello okay hello yes yes uh, so let me share my screen okay so uh, can you uh, see my screen hello yeah yeah okay so um, today we will uh, discuss the uh, networking part okay docker networking so what is uh, actually docker networking okay so uh, docker uh, networking actually the docker network uh, uh, subsystem is a uh, actually isolated thing okay it's a completely isolated provide a security okay provide a security to our container means uh, how our container uh, is access the internet okay so this this thing is under our docker um, docker network means how our uh, uh, container uh, access the uh, uh, network and how uh, it will work okay so these things is uh, under our uh, docker container so in uh, sorry uh, docker network so in docker network uh, we have uh, different type of network like bridge network host network overlayer network uh, ip uh, ipv lan network uh, mac uh, lan network okay and non network so basically we are using the uh, bridge network and host network okay so let's understand what is a fast bridge network the <coughs> default network drive okay bridge network is our default network when uh, we don't mention in a, mention any network when we create a container and we don't uh, mention any network then it it will take uh, the default network that is the bridge network okay so the uh, default net, uh, network drive if you don't uh, specify a dri driver uh, this is the uh, type of uh, network you are uh, creating uh, bridge network are commonly used when your application is running in a container okay that need to uh, communicate uh, with other uh, container on the same host okay so let's uh, do the uh, how the bridge network and uh, do some network uh, part in the console okay so let me log in first okay so here i have already installed the docker if i will do sudo docker hyphen v okay so i have already installed the docker so let's uh, create a container first okay so first do the uh, how to check the uh, the network okay how to check the network uh, how many network are running in in this host machine so the command is sudo uh, docker uh, network network press enter okay you can see the command like uh, uh, this is the connection create okay uh, dis uh, disconnect inspect ls okay these are command okay you can remove rm command okay so let me do the ls command okay so you can see here uh, there are uh, breeze network host network and non network these three things are there okay so let's uh, uh, create a fast uh, a container Okay, let's create a container. Suppose I am creating this Ubuntu container. Let's go to and create this Ubuntu container. Okay, means sudo docker run hyphen d in a detach mode and name the container name will be the server one and image is Ubuntu and sleep infinity. Okay, press enter. It's the uh, pull from the uh, our uh, docker registry. So I think the container is created sudo docker ps if I will do so it's created. Let's go inside this container. Okay. Suppose uh, how we will go sudo docker uh, exec uh, hyphen it okay and the container name server one and slash b sorry b. slash plus sudo slash sudo exec hyphen 
it server one slash t pass. Okay, so I am inside the container. Okay, suppose if I will do the uh, ping command. Okay, uh, okay. Let me check the uh, host. This IP. First, let me check this IP. Host hyphen i. Okay, so this is the IP. Means one seven two dot one seven dot zero dot two. Let me copy this thing. Okay, and paste it here for the server one. And let's uh, just go uh, uh, exit from the container. Okay, uh, and let's again check the here is our host machine. Uh, ip okay you can see uh, it's showing like uh, two ip means uh, uh, one is the 172331.28.1401 uh, 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 okay this is the our uh, private ip and this is the our um, means host machine ip okay and you can see uh, this ip means this is our host machine ip okay where our docker uh, daemon is running so this series ip should be same as this ip you can see here hmm. it will take from 172.17 uh, this series ip it will take okay so uh, in this way you can check the container ip so let me again go to the uh, inside the container and let's pink pink uh, this ip okay Let's check. Okay, it's not found. I okay, ping is not there. So let me update this one. Container inside the container. I am running the update command. Okay. Okay, and let's install the ping. fine let me do the pink okay so it will ping to the our sir uh, means what uh, to our host machine means the internet connection is there okay if i will do uh, pink uh, www dot google dot com okay press enter it's also ping okay from where uh, means uh, this container having the internet connection okay from the our host machine through our host machine okay so let's uh, um, go back okay to the host machine and uh, check the uh, okay let me again do the sudo uh, docker uh, network okay network ls mm. and uh, if I will do the inspect, okay. So sudo docker docker mm, inspect. inspect sudo docker network sudo docker network inspect and the network name. Okay, so you can see in this way we can inspect the uh, network. Okay, bridge network. Suppose I uh, I will do this thing, and you can see um, you can see the IP here. Where is the IP? You can see this one. Name equal to server one. Okay, I have created this uh, container. Okay, and this this is the what? This is the IP. If I will go to this, you can see. This is the server one IP, okay, and this is also in the bridge network. It's showing under the bridge network, okay. Let me again um, do one thing: create a another server, okay. So if I will do, okay, okay. If I will create a another server, two, okay. Press enter, okay. It's created. Let's go inside it. Go inside the server, okay, and 
okay i am inside the server let's check the its ip this is the ip this is the let me save it here server 2 ip okay uh, and let's uh, update and copy the ping command for install the ping uh, software here present okay what happened apt is missing apt okay yes okay so um, i have installed let's ping ping server one okay let me ping the server one and see what happened it's ping to the server one okay so means it's connected to the uh, our what the um, bridge network and inside the bridge network whatever the container is there it can be communicate with each other okay so let me go back pq control plus pq okay you can go back to the uh, host uh, machine okay so let me uh, do again the docker inspect command and the breeze okay this command sudo docker network inspect breeze and you can see here there are two things is added you can see this is the server 2 i have just created and previously i have created this one and ip also populated this is the 3172170.3 and this is the 2 okay so in this way you can see the how many container uh, are there and what uh, will be the ip of the container okay uh, you can see uh, in this uh, what in this uh, uh, docker inspect and the uh, your uh, network uh, name okay so let me create a um, let me create a new network okay so let me create a new network uh, how we will create a new network uh, sudo docker network okay and you can see to create a network you can see here to create a network this is the command to create okay so uh, sudo docker network create and the network name suppose i am giving power cloud okay press enter okay so network is created so do the uh, sudo docker network ls okay you can see the power cloud network is created and driver is the breeze network means this power cloud network is created uh, the type is the breeze network is a breeze network type okay so uh means when we will create a network uh, and it's automatically go to the bridge network type okay so it's actually uh, best way uh, to protect your uh, container okay uh, and it's a good practice also to create a uh, own network uh, under the uh, bridge network okay so let me create a container hmm. let me create a container first uh, with the bridge network okay so let me create a container and give as a server 3 and um, how we will uh, give uh, how we will assign the network okay uh, hyphen hyphen network hyphen hyphen network space and the network name suppose i am giving the power power cloud okay press enter okay so it's created hmm? so let's go to uh, inside the um, okay so first uh, inspect the power cloud please inspect i am writing here the power cloud okay so you can see here the power cloud uh, network okay where is the power cloud you can see name is the power cloud and 
you can see the server is this one container name and this is the IP and you can see the range is changed means 172.17 is there okay in uh, uh, server 1 server 2 but when I will create this one hmm, it's changed to the 172.18 okay so let me go inside the container okay so let me go inside the container 3 okay so I am in the container uh, and if I will check the host name hyphen i this is the i and it's a change you can see you can see this is the range is changed means this is under our own um, uh, own network okay this is these two are in the breeze network default network but this is our in the own network okay means 172.18 it's changed to 18 okay so let me check whether we will ping to our uh, uh, what to the other uh, container or not? Let me update this one. Okay, and let's update the ping command. Okay, so let me ping to the fast server. So it will not pink. Can you tell me why it cannot be pink to the server one IP? Hello. 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 Yes, yes. It's uh, it's actually cannot ping to the uh, server one IP. You can see uh, hundred percent uh, loss. Okay, because our server I one. Uh, that port not open. No, no, I am just a port. No, 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 no. Actually, reason is you can see here in the server one, it's under the breeze network. The server one and server two is on the breeze network. Okay, <laughs> but in server three, I have created a new network named as Power Cloud. Okay, named as Power Cloud, and it's it's under in the Power Cloud. Okay, so that's why uh, this. A network means in the these two server in in uh, bridge network so uh, when we will try to uh, ping from a server 3 to uh, server 1 it's actually different network uh, that's why it cannot be ping okay so how we will do this let me uh, again go to the server 1 and check also same thing we will face okay if i will do ping copy this IP and paste it here press enter you can see it's also not pink to the server 3 okay so how we will ping to the server 1 uh, means how we will communicate to server 1 to server 3 and it's a completely different network okay you can see uh, it's a different network so how we will do uh, let's go to the okay let me go back and do the docker okay so we will do the docker uh, connect connection command okay so sudo docker uh, connect connect okay. and the uh, can you please mute hello yeah okay thank you thank you okay sudo docker uh, connect and uh, um, and the network name okay so i am giving the network name like uh, power power cloud okay and the uh, suppose i am giving the container name server one okay means the uh, uh, server one is now connected to the what connected to the power cloud okay power cloud network uh, so let me do the sudo docker here uh, i have to write uh, network okay okay so now this uh, power cloud is uh, sorry the server one is now connected with 
power cloud if i will do uh, inspect if i will do the uh, docker let me inspect uh, inspect uh, power cloud you can see uh, in the power cloud this is the server one and also you can see the server three also there okay in the power cloud these two things are connected if i will go to the uh, server one inside the server one means server um, container one okay and now if i will do ping ping to the uh, server three which is in the different network then it will communicate okay now we can ping to our uh, what ping to the server 3 IP okay and if I will do <coughs> sorry <laughs> if I will do um, let me come back to our post machine and if I will do uh, to the server 3 and uh, ping to the server 1 then what will happen can you play please tell me Hello. Uh, see, I have uh, what uh, what actually uh, I have uh, uh, done. I have done. Uh, I have connected. Okay, I have connected uh, server one to our network means <coughs> created uh, uh, power cloud network. Okay, but we cannot connect the server three to the bridge network. So that's why uh, it cannot communicate to the our uh, <coughs> server one ip because it's not under the uh, it's not connected to the bridge network okay are you uh, getting my point hello 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 okay hello okay so uh, let's come back okay and uh, just pq fine so uh, in this way the bridge network is work okay we can uh, create a network and uh, by creating the network we can assign uh, create a container from that network and it's a, actually a good practice okay and let's go to the uh, second thing uh, the breeze network okay so breeze network what is the breeze network uh, uh, breeze network remove the network isolation between the container and the uh, docker host means breeze network uh, sorry uh, host network sorry no host network is the remove the network isolation between the container and the docker host actually <coughs> when we will use the host network it's automatically uh, used our own uh, host machine okay bridge network actually uh, what happened bridge network actually use the port bridge network is using the uh, port mapping it's required the port mapping but in the host uh, network it's not uh, required the port mapping let's do the example here okay so let me go to the server one okay and uh, in the server one in the server one let me install the uh, apache server okay apt uh, apt and uh, install apache 2 okay why I am installing the Apache 2 in the server 1 container. Okay. Okay. Let me restart the Apache 2. Okay. Now it's it restart and let's go to and access the apache 
let me first whitelist the http http and also https also okay and again whitelist another port 8081 okay. and save it go to the instance details copy the public ip and paste it here okay so you can see we cannot access but we have already installed the apache in the server one okay but we cannot access this okay only because we are creating the server one in our bridge network okay and bridge network is required the port mapping okay so how we will do the port mapping let me go to the okay here okay and server one hyphen p and give the host machine first we have to give the host machine port okay and the 80 is the container port hmm. okay so let me do the server 3 server 4 server 4 here okay and uh, press enter okay and go inside the server 4 and install the apache okay so uh, apt So now install the Apache apt install Apache 2. okay so now it's installed and uh, let's restart the apache server okay it's restarted and I, if i will go to this and refresh it again it will not uh, reach to the apache server if i will do the foot mapping 8081 then it will work you can see it's work because i have uh, just uh, what me exist out for a minute okay i have just map this is our host machine uh, port and this is the container port okay i have just mapped to uh, this means when uh, we will go to this uh, port number it automatically forward to 80 port number and uh, whatever thing is um, inside the container hmm, we can access it okay so let's understand the host uh, host network if i will do sudo Docker Docker network okay uh, network let me do the sudo docker network ls okay you can see uh, we have finished the bridge network means in the bridge network we have to uh, uh, you, we have to uh, use the port for forwarding okay uh, and uh, in the host network we uh, don't require any put forwarding okay it's automatically take okay so let me create a another uh, server okay uh, and uh, here uh, what we will do just remove this thing and let me server 5 and let me give the name network network and this time i am using the host host network okay sorry spelling mistake host network okay host network yeah, server 5 and 
nature okay and let's go to inside the server file server file press enter and install the apache server okay so sudo don't record sudo apt update okay and install the apt install uh, apache 2 yes okay and restart the apache server okay fine and then let's go to uh, this one again uh, here you can see uh, it's not required any port forwarding and when i will press enter it's automatically show the our apache server it's not required any uh, port okay but here uh, here you can see I have mentioned the 8081 port okay uh, because it's the Apache server is running in the server for uh, I think 5 okay okay let me 5 and it's uh, what um, it's in a uh, bridge network in the bridge network it's required to the port mapping but in the host um, host network it's not required any port mapping okay so actually basic difference is there and many time interviewer will ask you like uh, what is uh, uh, how many uh, what is the type of uh, network okay you can say like a bridge network host network okay over layer network uh, ipv lan uh, mac uh, lan these are the non network okay and uh, <coughs> uh, and what uh, what is the difference between bridge network and host network bridge network uh it's required the port forwarding but the host network is use the uh, our internet uh, it's automatically use the our host machine network okay it's not required any port forwarding okay and the <coughs> let's uh, um, these are the two uh, main network and the best practice is the use uh, create a own uh, network okay and uh, use that network okay it's under the bridge class okay so uh, the next type is the overlayer overlayer network means uh, what happens suppose we have different different machine okay and in the different different machine we have installed the uh, docker diamond uh, in diff uh, different uh, machine so in the overlayer network we can communicate uh, with the two uh, uh, what uh, two uh, uh, ne uh, uh, to uh, docker daemon okay and it's a uh, docker swarm when we will enable the docker swarm it's work okay, okay. otherwise it will not work and the, the ipv4 and uh, mac uh, um, mac vlan okay ipv4 means ipv4 network if you uh, you just uh, total control over the both ipv4 and ipv6 okay and this uh, uh, vlan uh, driver uh, built up uh, on the top of, of the given operation uh, complete uh, control of the layer to v, uh, vlan okay and in this way this is also uh, mac uh, mac lan okay so this is at the uh, documentation you can follow this documentation but most important is breeze network and host network okay mainly this thing you, you will use and if you will go to the 
and occur swarm for the container uh, uh, what uh, to uh, to uh, manage the container then we will go for the overlayer okay but most of the case we will go to the bridge network and host network okay so uh, this is about the today's class